Marissa DeGroote from the Dane County Humane Society is here with our pet of the week and a beautiful cat named Rosie. Mm -hmm. She is a beauty. I don't know if you can see these gorgeous eyes on her. She's got these big, beautiful gold eyes, and she is a long-haired orange tabby. And she was a stray. She was a stray, um, but <laughs> we, we do know a bit about her. So she um, she is about three, three and a half years old. It's pretty young. Yeah, pretty young. She is also front declawed. And um, she is very, very sweet. She wants to go check everything out right now. <laughs> but she has become one of the shelter favorites because she is such a lap cat. And she loves to play. She absolutely loves the little mousies. But she has a special medical need. She is. She is a special girl. So Rosie has a feline leukemia virus. Now that sounds scary. It can sound a little scary. But um, what it means and, and what we really want is for adopters to just be aware that um, she has a compromised immune system, which means that she can get sick a little bit easier than normal cats, but it doesn't have to be as scary as it sounds. Um, what we recommend is that she's just going to need regular doctor um, or vet visits. As any pet should. Exactly. And you'll just kind of need to monitor that. Um, she'll also need to go to a home that she, where she's maybe the only cat or living with other cats that do have the feline leukemia virus. So it's, it is contagious to other cats. It is contagious to other cats. <laughs> but she can live. <laughs> well, she's uh, got a plenty of energy, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, she, this is not a, a sick kitty right here. Um, she has, uh, she can live a very, very long time there's with no, this. There's no pills or injections, it's just... She's currently not on any medications. It's just one of those things that you'll have to monitor over time, and, and she'll just have to be kind of the queen of her castle. And if you do have other cats that, that perhaps have th this virus, <laughs> then it's okay. Yep, yep. But she should probably be in the house. She'll yep, she'll, she'll have she to be. A, she doesn't you know, have claws. She shouldn't be running around anyway. No, no, she'll want to be an indoor kitty. And again, you'll just kind of want to keep an eye on her. But um, we're just looking for a very special family that is going to understand her special circumstance. But she is so oh, worth it. This that. is just such a wonderful kitty. She, look at that face. She is beautiful. And you know, she's just looking for a second chance. And really. It's New Year's. I think that's a perfect timing. Everyone's looking for a fresh start, and so is Rosie. And you have a special on, on her. Yes, today is the last day. She is over at our um, Adoption Center West, which is pretty close to here. And today is the last day of our adoption special. So her adoption fee is only $5. That's quite a bargain. Yeah. yeah. And all the, all the cats over there. Yep, all the cats are $5, and all the kittens are 20 But just on the west side. Yep, just on the west side, and just today. <laughs> She is beautiful. All right, last week's pet. Oh, oh Candy my, Cane. My cousin Candy Cane. <laughs> and she got adopted right away. There, uh, she as soon as we got back to the shelter, actually, she found that her new home. It's no surprise. She, no. she was a lover. <laughs> All right, let's get Rosie a, a special home for mm -hmm. a special Come girl. Come visit her at the Adoption Center West and a bunch of other cats over there. All right, Marissa, thank you. Oh, ha thank you. Have a happy new year. You too. We'll see you next week. And if you are interested in adopting or checking out the other animals at the Dane County Humane Society, go to giveshelter.org or call 838-0413. And we'll be right back with a final check your forecast.